A former police chief pleads guilty to theft charges. Today is Thursday, April 4th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Showers and a thunderstorm are likely with a high in the upper 40s. Excessive speed was a factor in a fatal wreck that occurred yesterday in Snyder County. WPGM reports 63-year-old Glenn Bossinger of Thompsontown died at the scene when his vehicle went out of control and hit a tree on Route 235 Wednesday evening. It's the second fatal wreck in the region this week. On Monday, two people were killed in an accident in Union County. Former Sunbury Police Chief Brad Hare pleads guilty to stealing nearly $7,000 from the America's Hose Company in Sunbury. Of the three misdemeanor counts, the first carries a maximum penalty of up to five years in prison. Hare was with the department for 22 years. In August, he was removed as police chief. On October 9th, counsel accepted his retirement. Two days later, he was arrested for the theft. He has since made full restitution. A last-minute plea deal results in two years probation for a Williamsport man facing assault charges. 34-year-old Ryan Krantz was accused of attacking a female friend and had been facing charges of felony strangulation. Under the plea agreement, Krantz pleaded no contest to a single count of simple assault. He must also perform 40 hours of community service and take part in the Men Against Abuse program. 47-year-old Heather Mowry of Montoursville had a blood alcohol level over five times the legal limit when her car slammed into a parked vehicle on Broad Street in Montoursville. Mowry kept driving until her car would no longer move. While being treated at the hospital, she told police she had consumed a 24-pack of beer. She remains jailed. A section of Muncie Creek has been designated a handicapped, accessible, and child-friendly fishing spot for the first two weeks of trout season. The area known as the Rocks at Picture Rocks is a semi-flat stretch of gently sloped rocks to the water's edge along Muncie Creek. Fish and Boat Commission officials said the designated section will allow for easy accessibility to fish for trout without serious risk of accident or injury. Two people from the Mid-State were honored this week during a special ceremony at the Capitol Rotunda in Harrisburg. Kimberly Saltzman, the Executive Director of the Mount Nittany Health Children's Advocacy Center, and Lisa Wilcox, the Director of Sullivan County Children and Youth, were awarded the PA Blue Ribbon Champions for Safe Kids for their efforts to protect kids from abuse and neglect. And more businesses are capitalizing on the upcoming eclipse. In the snacks department, Krispy Kreme is teaming up with Oreo to sell a limited donut cookie creation. Sonic Drive-In is selling a blackout slush float. Frito-Lay's Sun Chips unveiled a new flavor that will only be available during the event's nearly four and a half minutes of totality. And Moon Pie has created an Eclipse survival kit made up of four mini Moon Pies and two pairs of Eclipse glasses. Meanwhile, there are many events taking place to view the Eclipse. In Williamsport, the Jane Street Brown Library is hosting an Eclipse picnic at Memorial Park Monday from 1 to 4.30. As part of the event, River Valley Transit is providing free bus rides to and from the park. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.